when most people think of echinoderms, they might think of things like the feather star you can see swimming along there. But I'd like to introduce you to some other type of echinoderms. There's the sea star, which everyone will quite know well. And these are interesting because they demonstrate the radial symmetry that's common from all echinoderms. You can see it very easily there. And if you think of an urchin, you can, you can see the radial symmetry. But holothurians, here you've got two here. Another example of echinoderms. And you wouldn't think that's got much radial symmetry. But if you actually stood it on its end and squashed it flat, it would come out with a pattern not unlike this. So that's one of the first major groups of echinoderms. Right here we've got this holothurian and it's a synaptid and it's really cool because it's got certain properties. These guys here are really sticky. Sticks like Velcro. 